guys, so recently we have been remodeling, or not really remodeling, but redecorating our house in the farmhouse theme. I've been so inspired by the show Fixer Upper. If y'all watched my Netflix TV shows I'm obsessed with, then you know that I love Fixer Upper. And I have been so inspired that we have gone through, let's see, one, two, three, four, five rooms in our house and have redecorated them, which is ridiculous. That's so many rooms in like, such a small amount of time. So this video has been highly, highly requested by the people who follow me on Instagram and have seen like the pictures I've been posting. By the way, follow me on my Instagram if you don't already. The link is always in the description box. Um, and also if you follow me on our vlog channel. So since this video has been highly, highly requested, I decided just to make this one long like house tour. I'm not gonna be showing the kids' room. We are still working on my son's room. Our daughter's room is done, but I think I might just do those in, in separate videos. That way this video isn't too long. Um, but I will be showing one, two, three, four of the rooms that we have redecorated lately. So grab some popcorn, I'm sure this video is going to be really long so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with the living room. This is what it looks like. We painted it. It almost looks white but it's actually more like a oatmeal color I guess you would say because you can really see like by looking at the trim that this is white and this is not. It's more like a beige white color. I have lost the paint swatch so I will try to update in my description box the exact paint colors but I do not have them at the moment. So let's go ahead and move over here. I'll show y'all what I have. I just picked up this. Um, this actually was free from a friend of mine and this was just glass and I took some chalkboard paint and just painted it like a chalkboard and then this I picked up seven years ago when we first got married and it was red at the time and when we remodeled I just wanted some brighter colors so I painted it like a really light blue color and then I also painted this lamp shade I mean this lamp and is blue as you can see this lamp came from Kirkland's and it was like a brown color at first but I just painted it blue the lampshade came from Walmart then I just put this fabric down. The fabric also came from Walmart. It's one of the Waverly brands. This greenery just came from the Christmas tree shop and it was actually really cheap. Every time I see those, they're like really expensive, but I wanna say I got that for like $5 at the Christmas tree shop. Then I just picked up this at the Dollar Tree and I have one of these candles inside which are really cool and I think you can find them on Amazon. I will leave them linked below. I have some more in our bedroom but they are really really cool. They're one of those, let me take it out so you can see. So they look like this and they just like flicker. Don't mind my fingernails, oh my gosh, mom life. <laughs> um, but they just flicker like that and you can turn them off and on. But I really like them because like today was Sunday and I just wanted to come home from church and have everything like really cozy in the house. So I left this going and also the ones in our bedroom. So when we came home, you know, it's not like a real candle where it's dangerous <laughs> to leave them going and you can just pop them in there and then you come home to like a really cozy house. All right, so I got this bird from Burke's Outlet, which is kind of like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls type of store. So well, here is the dresser that I got off the side of the road. I don't know if you guys can believe that, but I also found that about seven years ago when we first got married. I just love the chevron. Um, would look. I, I just think that's beautiful and I can't believe I got that thing for free. <laughs> okay, so moving over here, I just got this sign from Hobby Lobby and then our curtains came from Kirkland's. The couch came from a Craigslist yard sale website and it's it's like one of the oversized couches and it reclines so that's really nice. And then this relaxed pillow came from Kirkland's as well. This blanket was given to us at our wedding. It was a wedding gift. And then the lamp shade came from Walmart and the lamp came from Kirkland's. And we have this sign right here, or this picture. It says, born an American, a southerner by the grace of God. And my aunt made that a long, long time ago. This table came from a antique store. Not really antique, but I just picked it up there for pretty cheap. I wanna say about $10. And it was wood and I just painted it white. And then I have this basket down here with just some stuff in there. All right, so moving over here now, I picked up the baskets 
from Hobby Lobby. Y'all might have seen those in my Hobby Lobby haul. But I love how this one is kind of like dark and then this one is lighter color. I think it just adds some character. My husband is from Charleston and so I really just felt like it gave it that Charleston feel. So I love that. Um, this window came from an antique store as well and I just put some fabric behind there. Got the fabric from Walmart. And then I won this wreath from a an Instagram page. I think it's called Market123 or something like that. So I won that. And then this bench is a hand-me-down. It's kind of like a family heirloom. <laughs> Ruffle pillow came from Ross, I want to say. And then the red pillow came from Walmart. I want to say it was like $5. The white pillow also came from Walmart, that one right there. And then the house pillow I got at the thrift store. This is what all of that looks like. And then that is my daughter's room and my son's room. We'll move over here. The welcome sign came from Hobby Lobby and we just painted it white. It was like a green color. And then over here, I got this dresser for free actually too. It was a hand-me-down which was also wood and I just painted it white. And then I've got another one of these baskets that came from Hobby Lobby and just a book right there. We keep our remote up there. And then the hydrangeas came from an antique store as well. And this little owl right here came from Burke's Outlet. And then I just stuck these little sticks back here. I actually got these from one of my subscribers, which I would really say she's more of a friend now because she actually comes to see me. Her name is Lexi Berry. Y'all might have seen her in the comments. But I just stuck those right there for a little added wood touch. This right here is actually plastic. It's not actually like a tin, but it's plastic and we just got that from Home Depot. Okay, so now we'll just move on into the kitchen. The rug came from the Christmas tree shop. Our hardwood floors are actually bamboo and they came from Home Depot. The table was a hand-me-down and I just painted that white. The chairs I got at a yard sale, they were wood and really gross looking. Um, just painted those white and then this is the same fabric I have over there on that dresser. And they're the Waverly kind from Walmart. Up here I just got this shabby lane sign from an antique store and it was about $20. And then the iron piece above it I got at a yard sale for 25 cents. These lights came from an antique store. As you can see, I shop at antique stores a lot, but we really love those. We got that for $20. And I just, I love little like metal touches as you can see over here. Um, but I love the metal touches in the like farmhouse theme. Let's move over here. Our cabinets are white, as you can see. They're just like the purest, whitest white. Um, and then I've got this basket. It actually came from Walmart and it was on sale after the 4th of July stuff like last year so it was red white and blue and I just painted it all white and then I just stuck some greenery in there and some twinkling lights this bird came from TJ Maxx the candle came from Walmart and the candle stand I got at a yard sale moving over here the valance came from Walmart as well and then I've got this lampshade I got it in an antique store the lamp came from Walmart or no, it might not have come from Walmart. I think it was actually Dollar General or something. This bucket right here I got for 10 cents at a yard sale. It was actually a light blue color, but I wanted it to be white. So I just painted it white and then kind of like brushed over it with some brown just to give it a little bit more detail. And then I picked up the greenery at Hobby Lobby. And then this life is short, like the bowl sign came from Cracker Barrel. And then this galvanized tray came from Walmart. Then I have this candle over here. It's my favorite candle ever. <laughs> it's the beautiful day one from Bath and Body Works and I absolutely love it. As you can see, we have some more of that metal looking, it's actually plastic like I said. So uh, we have that over here and I love it. I think it looks so beautiful. Up here above our refrigerator, I just put a picture of us. I got that picture frame from the Christmas tree shop and then I got this basket right here from a yard sale and I just put some sunflowers in there just to add it a little bit of color to this room because like as you can see it's a lot of white 
and brown. So I just wanted to add a little bit of color by putting some sunflowers up there. I also always add a little bit of color by just hanging a towel right there. Right now I've just got this green one and it is the Pioneer Woman Kind. So this is what my kitchen looks like all together. And I absolutely love it. It's probably my favorite part of the house. Well, and our bedroom, I love that. So let's go ahead and move on into the guest bathroom. Not too much to show in here, but we have done some redecorating and we just painted this accent wall green. And I do have the paint swatch for that, so I will put it in the description box. And then I just got this bath sign from Hobby Lobby. The shower curtain came from Walmart and it was only like $10. And let me show it to you up close, but I love the way it looks. It's like a hotel shower curtain. So I really love that. It's like fresh and clean. Down here I just have this mat and I actually got this at Dollar General for like a dollar and 80 cent. Up here I have this count your blessings picture. I don't know if you can see that real well, but I got that at TJ Maxx years and years ago. So this is what our bathroom looks like, or our guest bathroom. So let's move on into the very last room and that is our bedroom and it is so romantic I feel like especially when this light is off oh it's just so cozy and so romantic I just absolutely love it so let me turn this light on so y'all can see a little bit better the green color is the same paint color that is in the bathroom so like I said that will be in the description box our bed actually came from a yard sale the white blanket on the bed was just a hand-me-down from my mom then the pillows came from well the brown pillows came from Walmart and the pink pillow came from TJ Maxx some black pillows behind there and then I have this picture above the bed. Y'all might have seen what this used to look like before in my Hobby Lobby haul. Move up a little bit closer on it. The wood used to actually be wood and I just painted it white and then put the lyrics to Thinking Out Loud on there because that's my husband and I's song at the moment. We just love that song. And so we wanted to put that above our bed. So that's what it looks like. The H over there you might have also seen in my Hobby Lobby haul, but it was a teal color and I just painted it white and I love how it looks in here. I absolutely love it. That lamp over there is the same lampshade that was in the living room so came from Walmart and the lamp came from Target I want to say but it was years and years ago. So over here you can see we have some of our blankets and then this table that we actually got as a hand-me-down as well when we first got married. Here are some more of those candles that I love so much. Like I said, they will be linked below. Then I just got this crate right here and just put a few things inside of it like this lamp. This whole lamp came from Ross and then I got this at an antique store as well. Just put some of my books and my Bible in there and then this from our wedding. Just put that in there. Speaking of our wedding, we have one of our wedding pictures up here. Then our curtains also came from Walmart. This leather chair that we have over here came from Craigslist. This dresser right here came from a thrift store and I just took some fabric and wrapped it around and stapled it. That is a really easy thing to do, um, which a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on that, but I just haven't done one recently. So the next time I add fabric to one of my dressers, I will do a tutorial, but I haven't done one recently. Anyway, here are some more of those candles I have up here. And then this sundress Bath and Body Works candle our TV and DVD player, and then my mirror that I got as a birthday present. So that is it for our bedroom. Like I said, it's it looks 10 times better when you turn the light off. Like really, really romantic. I just love looking in this room. So that was a lot of talking. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was like out of breath half the time. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Let me know what your favorite room was. I can't wait to show the kids' rooms to you guys later. And subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.